What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Today, or w welcome back to the survival. Today, <laughs> today's episode 38. And today, today I have some fun stuff uh, planned. I know I said it was going to be an adventurous episode, but w we're building some more. Um, <laughs> so sorry if you were looking forward to that, but those days will come. In fact, in the next episode, I I'm pretty sure we'll do some adventuring. But today... Uh, I think I'm gonna be building a fully automatic farm, so I'm excited for that. Um, why don't I just go ahead and show you guys the to-do list? So the first things first, I want to give a little tour of the potion room because a few things have changed over there, and then uh, the automatic farms I want to make their sugarcane farm, so we'll be doing that. And then I also want to make a small redesign in the farm hall. You guys will see what I'm talking about. And I also uh, want to go ahead and get a ton of sugar today using our new farms and add that into the potion room so those are our goals for the episode should not be too bad uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and head on over to the potion room and show you guys the things uh, that have changed so why don't I do that I will meet you guys back uh, up there it's gonna t it's gonna take a while to climb this ladder and here we are uh, so um, you can already tell there are a few differences I I've kind of nicened up the outside just added some uh, different designs here the brewing room label I also got this light right here um, and then back here you guys have seen the fueling room I don't think anything uh, has changed in here so we can leave that this is a little bit different though I went ahead and fixed the dispenser issue we were having um, so I, I think that should be fixed I guess I guess I can show you guys so uh, let me go start an awkward potion should uh, should start up here uh, and we can okay Oh, do I not? I, I might not have. I, I might not have any <laughs> nether wart in there right now. I don't think I do. Well, actually, we, we can check because I have a brand new uh, entrance to the restock area. I think the, the nether wart should be in this one. Okay, no, I do have nether wart. Where did that... Where did that go? Yeah, w when I was remodeling, I, I'm pretty sure I messed that up. So that should be fixed now, um, and I, I think I already heard it brew, so uh, we can go back over there. But yeah, just a little uh, maintenance room, and you can uh, enter it through a little, uh, I guess, piston door? Not really hidden, but uh, just a piston door. Uh, the water well, I, I don't think, has changed. Uh, but over here, we have a recipe book. Now, um, I went ahead and just put everything I would need to know about potions in here, uh, just because some of them have tricky recipes, like the harming one, you gotta start with a different potion, things like that. So I just went ahead and made a book so I can check whenever I need to. These should be awkward potions oh well i really messed that up uh when okay hold on i think they're good yeah okay they're good now they're good now so i can go ahead and add uh let's make some healing ones and that should work any second now never mind i don't have <laughs> i don't even have glistening melons we can do what do i even have I, I know i have spider eyes so we'll do that we'll make a spider eye potion i think that'll be poison um but just to show that it works the spider eye is there okay I was, I was getting scared for a second but yeah so overall I, th I think the room looks a lot better also by the way I added all the labels to these so now they're all uh, labeled properly so that is the tour of the potion room I know I'm missing I'm missing one thing um, I think the turtle the turtle uh, shell is another ingredient and then also dragon's breath I think is another one but any extra ingredients like that that I won't be using too often I, I can just shove in here and just have them automatically or just make them manually I guess um, yeah so that is the potion room I guess I can take these not really gonna be needing those so I'll just throw them in here oh it's time it's time to get some new phantom membrane you get over here you little bugger. Did you? Oh, you dropped some. Oh, that was awesome. I, they usually don't. It usually it's kind of rare, but um, that worked out. OK, so let's uh, let's go downstairs and I, I guess we can start working on the brand new sugar cane farms. Don't want to keep you guys waiting too long. So here we are. Um, and, and by the way, I've already set up the area, um, just duplicated what was over here and, and the other ones. Um, so, yeah, I've already set that up. All we really have to do today is put the farms together. So, um, 
I think I want to grab all of the the ingredients I'll need in this build, uh, and then I'll be right back. But it's gonna be exciting. A fully automatic sugarcane farm. All right, uh, so I think we can start by taking out this first row, and this is where uh, the sugarcane will actually be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put sand there, just because it looks very nice, and it actually matches this whole beach theme kind of deal, so I like that. Uh, we'll leave that the way it is, and then I'm gonna need to put down hoppers, and the hoppers, um, I, I think I'm just gonna make them connect to this chest. So if I bring them around like that, um, all of the sugar cane that falls down should go into these hoppers and then head on over into there. So it will collect fully automatically, uh, which is nice. And then once that chest fills up, I, I have to move it to other chests. But it should be a, should be a pretty nice system. So, uh, so that's that. And then the next thing I want to do is set up a little border just to make this look uh, a tad bit nicer. So we're going to start by doing this and then just bring this all the way across. So there we are. Uh, that's that. The stripped bird. I like the way that looks, I really do. So, um, so there we go, that is that. Now, I've gotta go ahead and put water down in the trench. But before I do that, uh, I think there's a potential for some pretty cool hidden lighting. So what I wanna do now is, uh, quickly slap down some of these sea lanterns, um, and I think this'll look cool, cause the light will be, like, coming from underneath the plants. Yeah. Okay, that should be nice, that should be nice. So we'll leave that there, uh, and then all I need to do now is get some water down. And I'm pretty sure I can make an infinite water source if I do that. Oh, maybe not that, maybe this, no, that. Yeah, okay, now I have an infinite source, perfect. Then I'll go ahead and take out this back row, and this I think I'm just gonna switch over to sand, uh, just cause I think the sand will look nice, kinda keep the same theme, so we'll fill that up, and then we wanna go one higher with the sand. Oh. Did not want to do that. That shouldn't cause an issue. No, we're fine. Um, and then we could just fill that. Um, so that is the basic start of the farm. The next thing we have to do uh, involves a little bit of redstone. And um, I think, I, I guess I could start with the sticky pistons. Uh, so I'll uh, go grab those. So these guys are just gonna go right on top of the sand we put down. Um, so they just gotta face out like this, and uh, we can go ahead and call it there. So that's done. Um, now, I, I guess on top of those, just because they're a little ugly, I think I'm going to put some prismarine blocks. And you'll quickly be able to see how this is going to work. If you don't already know, some of this, this is a fairly popular farm, so most of you uh, probably know how this is going to work. But uh, we get those. And, and yeah, that looks nice. Alright, so basically, the gist of it, I think I can explain now, is... Uh, we'll have sugarcane here, and then observers up here at the top. And once the sugarcane grows high enough, the observers get triggered, which uh, triggers the pistons. And then the prismarine gets pushed out, and then breaks all the sugarcane, uh, and it falls down into here. And then it should go into the chest, and then they retract, and you just gotta wait for them to grow again. So it's not too complicated. It's kind of expensive, though, because you need a lot of hoppers and a ton of observers and pistons, but it, it definitely pays off, because you have a fully automatic farm that'll just farm while you're not even here. It's lovely. Now, for the observers, you just want to place them so that the red dot is on top of the pistons, and, and the face should be on the outside. You'll see, uh, you'll see in just a second once I get around there, but make sure you have uh, the whole length covered so, uh, so it all works, and, and then after that, I think all we need to do is lay some redstone on top so that it, uh, it triggers the pistons, and, and we're basically done. The whole thing is essentially set up already. Um, and I think it should be looking, yeah, it looks pretty nice. There's a few things I need to clean up, like right here. I think I want to make that just sand, I guess. That should be fine. And then we'll do the same over here and replace the birch, and we are basically done. I, that, <laughs> that was really fast. Uh, w once you get the design down and, and you know what you're doing, it's, it's really easy. So that's it. That's it. Now, to show you guys what'll happen, if a sugar cane grows in front of this... The pistons push out, and that would, of course, break the sugar cane. So now all I gotta do uh, is plant some. I should have some in here, I really hope I do. Oh yeah, okay, I have plenty. So we're just gonna go ahead and move all of this. Actually, not all of it, not all of it, just a stack. We'll keep a stack for now, just so we have some easy access in our storage room. But, um, but yeah, so now that we have this, all we gotta do is place it down, and we'll be done. 
just like that. Well, I, I won't be done. I want to do another one on the other side. We'll make two of them, but you guys don't really need to see that. But I will, I, I will make one uh, on the other side. So let's go ahead, plant this down, and we will have a fully uh, completed farm. Much faster than I thought. Like I said, this is not that bad. Um, there we go. There we go. It's finished. Now, uh, now I can just do the same thing on the other side. So maybe a little uh, time lapse here, possibly. Or, or maybe I'll just cut it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. You guys will see what I do. Yeah, okay, that was fast. <laughs> that was really fast. So we go ahead, plant our sugar cane down in just like that. Uh, I think we have two. I should make sure this works, though, just uh, just to be safe. Yep, it does. It does indeed. We've done it, ladies and gents. Now, uh, now we gotta wait. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. I didn't even put the, <laughs> I didn't put the hoppers down. That's kind of important. Wait, what side... Do that one okay that one went to the other side so I, I think I want to just go ahead and make it symmetrical uh, yeah hoppers though and then we're done almost there all right we are done I think just needed to make that small little fix and we're good two brand new farms uh, the sugarcane farms and they're looking nice Looking really nice. I, I think they look better than these farms. Uh, I just like running by. Oh, yeah. And you're going to have it automatically farming. I won't even need to touch it. That's lovely. Um, so, yeah, while we're waiting for them to grow, there's one thing that I want to do. I, I mentioned a little uh, makeover, and it involves this. I don't think this fence looks good. The, the acacia, it, it's just not right. It's not right here. So I want to do something real quick. I'm going to switch up the fences. I want to show you guys what I was thinking, and I'll and I'll get your opinion on it, I guess. And we'll see if you guys are feeling the same way I am. Okay, I'm back, and uh, here we have the before look. So keep this in mind. This is what it's looking like right now. But if I make the change I want, this is... Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, and, and all I did, by the way, was just add some birch fences. But as you can tell, I, I think it, I think it might just be me, but I think it fits more. I, I, I really do. So um, I'm just going to do this with all of the fences really quick. And um, it shouldn't be too bad. I, I only have a bit in here. So I'll do that and then we can walk through and see if it makes the place look any better. I think it will. I think it will. I think it just fits more. So um, yeah, be right back. Yeah, oh yeah, this looks this looks much better. In my opinion, of course, you guys can let me know if you don't like. I forgot one. There we are. Uh, yeah, you guys can let me know if you don't like it. Um, but I think it's better in my in my humble uh, opinion. So we'll leave it the way it is for now. Uh, and I forgot another one. <laughs> the last thing, the last thing, the final touch uh, to this uh, to this build is we gotta go ahead and uh, throw our item frames up to, to show what is gonna be in the chest. Uh, it, it's not really that necessary. <laughs> I just like how it looks. So we'll go ahead and get our four item frames in the right spot. And now we can officially say uh, the farming hall has been extended another two farms. And I already have plans for the next one. So uh, I'm excited to get those done. Now all I gotta do is wait. I, I, I need to see this happen. I, I need to see it in action. If I stand here, oh. Okay, if I stand here, I get double the chance, so, uh, I might, <laughs> I might just wait, and, um, I get, I guess we can hope that it happens while I'm standing here. That's the plan, I suppose. Okay, alright, this is, uh, this, <laughs> this is taking way too long. I've been sitting here for, like, for, like, ten minutes! For, uh, maybe even more! I went to the bathroom two times. <laughs> no, it's just not happening. But I know what I can do. I know what I can do. I can just come over here and slap one on, and there we go. Now, as you can tell, there's a little bit of, uh, uh some misses. How did you get all the way over there? Um, well, well anyways, basically, it, it's not fully, fully, uh, efficient. I would need more hoppers for that, but... Um, I don't want it to look ugly. <laughs> the whole point is that this thing is going to be running in the background, and it'll s still work. That's the wrong chest. It'll still work, as you can tell. 
So, um, yeah, fully automatic farm. I'm done waiting, though. <laughs> so I'm going to take all the sugar cane that I have. I'm, I'm going to do, uh, do the same thing on this side. Um, and uh, what I can do is I can change some of it into sugar so that I can bring it into our, uh, into our base. And I should probably take that as well. So um, why don't we head on over to the potion base, the potion brewing room, um, and we can go ahead and stock up with sugar. 25 is not bad at all. And we get to go ahead and walk back into our room. So the speed potion is four in from the side. Uh, so <laughs> I might need to label it on this side. It's a little confusing. It's easy once I already have uh, some ingredients. So I got to remember to refill before I, I completely run out. But there we go. We got some uh, some sugar in there. So I, I need to do the same for all of them. I need to stock up on a ton of ingredients. I really don't have many gas tears or rabbit's feet. I think the rest of it uh, I'm pretty good with. Oh, oh, why don't we go ahead and throw uh, another one of these in here? How about that? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm going to work on stocking this up uh, as, as we go, but I really, really like how this potion room turned out. So that's that. Uh, that's really all I had for today's episode. I might be a short one, depending on how much I edit out and, and leave in. But yeah, um, that uh, it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. Uh, two brand new farms, uh, both sugarcane farms, but still uh, exciting stuff. And, and I have more planned in the future, too. So uh, if I can't think of anything, we can continue adding to the farm hall. But it's, it's, it's been pretty nice. How did, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But how did this happen? You're going to be stuck here forever unless i kill you you know what why not though we, we can just leave him there oh boy that's uh that's kind of strange and of course uh the final thing that we need to do for today is we need to check out the uh the subscribers of the day uh so let me go ahead put them on the sign and we can give them a quick little shout out so here they are it's rptm mcpe page a puff gaming beats plays and happy boy thank you guys so 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 much it's uh, it's so cool to read through your guys' comments. So many awesome comments in the last episode. Um, and if you weren't one of the four that was chosen, just keep going. Just keep going. I'm telling you, uh, eventually you'll get on here. Uh, the subscriber wall or the subscriber book. Uh, basically the same thing. Anyways, I think that's just about it. Today's episode... Oh, did not mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, today's episode has come to a wrap. Thank you guys so much, so, so much for watching. I'll talk to you all later. And as always... Stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.